Hi, beautiful people of the living God. Hope you're doing well and you're doing, you're blessed. Um, the Father would like me to talk to you about and teach you about the man of understanding versus the man void of understanding. I am going to break this video up into two parts, but I'm just going to give you a rundown of it before you, so you have an understanding. The man of understanding versus the man void of understanding. And the benefits, the man of understanding and the benefits of having understanding, which is favor, an excellent spirit, a happy man, wisdom, and um, upright, slow to wrath, wellspring of life, and how to get understanding, and through precepts, um, God opening your understanding after prayer, um, without and when you're without understanding, okay, and man void of understanding, and the man of that has lack of understanding, the the pros and the cons of having understanding and the cons of not having understanding and why you should have spiritual understanding. So this video is going to be and the adulterous and lustful man is without understanding. So um, I'm going to break this video up into two parts. So I'm going to start. Okay, beautiful people of God, we'll get through it. And I'm going to break it up in two parts because this is important, you know, beneficial information that can help you in your walk and your journey with God and help you in these last days because understanding will be the stability of the time, right? The people of understanding will survive this time. The people without understanding will not. So with that being said, let's get into it. I just wanted to give you a brief rundown, okay? All right. So you need understanding in these last days, definitely. Daniel 12 and 10, many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So God even wants you to know that the wicked people, they're not going to understand the word of God in this last time because it's for them to fall because of their pride. So he doesn't want them to understand because they didn't want to understand and they didn't hearken unto the voice of the Lord to repent. So Proverbs 28 and 5, evil men understand not judgment. That's why when you speak the word of God to some people, because they're so evil and they're possessed with devils, they don't understand what you're saying because the wicked shall not understand. None of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Now 2 Peter 2 and 12. But these are natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. Speak evil of the things that they understand not, because evil men understand not. So they speak evil of things they don't understand. So you know when you're trying to explain the word of God to somebody and they're trying to gaslight you or they're saying things that just don't add up. It's because evil people don't understand and shall and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Proverbs 92 and 6, a brutish man knows not. Neither does a fool understand this. So brutish people don't know nothing. That's why um, in Peter calls them brute beasts. That they may take it and destroy. Brutish man know not, neither does a fool understand this. So fools don't understand the word of God. Evil people don't understand the word of God. And brutish men don't understand the word of God. Proverbs 4 and 1. Hear you children the instruction of a father and attend to no understanding. So you have to be attentive and you have to attend on to God to get the understanding that you need. All right? Micah 4 and 12, but they know not the thoughts of the Lord, neither understand they his counsel. Why? Why wouldn't they understand God's counsel? And it says, hear ye children the instruction of a father and attend to no understanding because they're not attending to God to get the understanding from God, but they know not the thoughts of the Lord, neither understand they his counsel for he shall gather them as sheaves into the floor so they could be destroyed because they perish in their own corruption because they're without understanding. Wisdom shall be the stability of the time in the end days, which is, but you have to have understanding to have wisdom. 
All right. So John 8 and 43, do you not understand my speech even because you cannot hear my word? So you won't understand. They don't understand Christ's speech because they don't even hear his word. Now, Matthew 13 and 14, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which says, by hearing you shall hear and shall not understand. And by seeing you shall see and shall not perceive wicked people. Now, Man of understanding and the benefits of having understanding favor. Now, Proverbs 13 and 15, good understanding gives favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. An excellent spirit comes with having understanding. Proverbs 17 and 27, he that has knowledge spares his words and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. People who have understanding don't go about gossiping and being busybodies, they have understanding knowing not to do that. They don't go about slandering people and telling lies on people. People of understanding don't do that. They're of an excellent spirit. They spare their words. A ha a, a ha when you're a man of understanding or a woman of an understanding, you're a happy man. Proverbs 3 and 13. Happy is the man that finds wisdom and the man that gets its understanding. When you get to understanding, you are a happy man and you're a happy woman. Proverbs 10 and 23. It is a sport to a fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding has wisdom. So what are these great things that come with understanding? Favor, excellent spirit, happy man, wisdom. Proverbs 10 and 13. In the lips of him that has understanding, wisdom is found. So people who have understanding, they'll speak of things of wisdom. But a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Proverbs 11 and 12. He that is void of wisdom despises his neighbor. But a man of understanding holds his peace, holds his peace because a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit and they spare their words. Proverbs 17 and 24, wisdom is before him that has understanding because knowledge, wisdom is understanding the knowledge that you know and applying it. That's why it says wisdom is before him that has understanding, but the eyes of a fool are in the ends of the earth. And it tells you a fool is void of understanding. Where's the fool's eyes in the ends of the earth? Where is a person's of understanding that Seeking God, seeking his counsel, getting understanding. Proverbs 1 and 5, a wise man will hear and will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. Alma 48 and 11, and Maroni was a strong and a mighty man. He was a man of a perf of a per was of a man perfect in understanding, yeah, a man that did not delight in bloodshed, a man whose soul did jo joy in the liberty and the freedom of his country and his brethren from bondage and slavery. Now, what what else do you have when you, you, you're, you're a man or a woman of understanding? You're upright. Proverbs 15 and, 21, 15 and 21. Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom, but a man of understanding walks, walks uprightly. Proverbs 20 and 5, counsel in the heart of a man is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. So when someone's heart is full of foolishness, somebody with understanding, with their wise counsel, they can draw that foolishness out. Slow to wrath. So when you're a man or a woman of understanding, you're slow to wrath. God is of great understanding. Doesn't Isn't God slow to anger? He's merciful and he's slow to anger. Proverbs 14 and 29. He that is slow to wrath is of, a, is of great understanding. But he that is hasty, spirit exalts folly. So you see those people who always want to take vengeance on people and they're stirring up wrath and strife. They, 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 ex, they excel a lot of folly. But people who are slow to wrath, they have great understanding. 
Having understanding is a wellspring of life. Proverbs 16 and 22, understanding is a wellspring of life unto him that has it, but the instruction of fools is folly. But people of understanding listen to those of wise counsel. People that are fools, they follow instructions of folly. Now, how do you get understanding? Pray, ask God, use the precepts of God's word in prayer, such as these. Psalms 119, 119 and 120, 125. I am thy servant. Give me understanding that I may know thy testimonies. Psalms 119 and 34. Give me understanding and I shall keep thy law. Yeah, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Proverbs 8 and 14. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. This is God telling you counsel is his and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. So you ask God for understanding and you get the understanding from him. The second book of Timothy's verse two, I mean, chapter two, verse seven, consider what I say and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Father, please give me understanding in all things. You need to pray for understanding and ask for the spirit of understanding. Proverbs 2 and 6. For the Lord gives wisdom. Out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. So you should ha- you should be having your own relationship with God to know what to have knowledge and understanding of things. Anything you don't understand or anything you don't know, you ask God. Knowledge means to know. Understanding is to understand the knowledge that you know. Wisdom is is understanding the knowledge that you know and applying it. It's knowledge and understanding and applying it. Knowledge is to know. Wisdom is... Understanding is to understand the knowledge that you know. Wisdom is is having knowledge and understanding and applying the knowledge and understanding that you know. Through precepts. Now, Psalms 119... Verse 104, through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. So how do you even get understanding through God's precepts? Through reading, blesses the man that read it. Psalms 119 verse 144, the uh, righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding and I shall live. Use that pre- use that prayer precept. Give me understanding and I shall live. There, there are other ways God gives you understanding such as visions. But if you don't understand his word, you won't understand your vision. So you need, what is it called? Counsel comes from the mouth. Understanding comes from the from the mouth of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. Out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. So not, you need to have your own relationship and conversations with God. God must first open your understanding to receive visions as well. For you won't understand what you see or hear without the understanding from God. God opening your understanding after prayer. So Doctrine and Covenants 110 verse 1. The veil was taken from our minds and the eyes of our understanding were open. So God will take away the veil from your mind and your eyes and he will open your understanding forgive me when i um copied this it just kind of messed up a bit so yeah the veil was taken from our minds and the eyes of our understanding were open doctrine and covenants 91 verse 4 to 6 therefore whosoever read it let him understand Blesses the man who read it. Reading is all about comprehension, people. Therefore, whosoever read it, let him understand, for the Spirit manifests its truth. And whosoever is enlightened by the Spirit, the Spirit is the Spirit of God, shall obtain benefit therefrom. And whosoever receives not by the Spirit cannot be benefited. So you get benefits from the spirit of God by your enlightenment and understanding and whosoever receives not by the spirit cannot be benefited therefore it is not needful that it should be translated 
Amen. Now, Doctrine and Covenants 138, verse 11. As I pondered over these things, which are written, the eyes of my understanding were open. So your mind of understanding is open. Your eyes of understanding are open. The eyes of my understanding were open. And the spirit of the Lord rested upon me. You know how people say their third eye? God opens the eyes of your understanding. And God opens the mind of your understanding. People like to say a higher consciousness, but it's really the spirit of understanding. And the spirit of the Lord rested upon me, and I saw the host of the dead, both small and great. So I just want you to understand, the eyes of my understanding were open. Doctrine and Covenants 138 and 11. As I pondered over these things which are written, the eyes of my understanding were open, and the spirit of the Lord rested upon me. Now, Doctrine and Covenants 88 and 11 to 13. And the light which shineth, which gives you light, is through him who enlightens your eyes. God enlightens your eyes. And when you enlighten your eyes, you enlighten the eyes of your understanding. Eyes, you know how people have eyes to see, but they see not. Ears to hear, but they hear not. They have eyes, but they see and they understand not. They have ears and they hear and understand not because their eyes are not enlightened. And their understanding of their mind is not enlightened. And the light which shines, which gives you light, is through him who enlightens your eyes, which is the same light that quickens your understanding, which light proceeds forth from the presence of God to fill the immensity of space. The light which is in all things, which gives life to all things, which is the law by which all things are governed, even the power of God, who sitteth upon his throne, who is in the bosom of eternity, who is in the midst of all things. Now, people without understanding. Romans 1 and 31. Without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. So people who were without understanding, they're covenant breakers. They're without natural affection. They're implacable and they're unmerciful. Proverbs one, Proverbs 18 and 2. A fool has no delight in understanding. So foolish people, that's why they always say they don't want to hear that. Or they change the subject when you're talking to them about the words of wisdom and things of understanding and words of knowledge. Because a fool has no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover it itself. Now the man void of understanding and the man of lack of understanding. 